Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I am back with another Reformation haul. I really loved the dress that I got from Reformation um, that I wore to the wedding that I had on Canada Day. I definitely am going to be re-wearing it to other weddings in the future. I got so many compliments. It looked so good and has sort of converted me into a flowy dress person. Um, for Italy, I have just, because of that dress and because of how many compliments I got on it and because of how good and gorgeous and pretty I felt, I was like, oh my God, I need more things like this in my life. So I sort of did that. Um, I've definitely been converted into a midi maxi skirt sort of person, crazy. And I also have been kind of converted into a Reformation girl. Now, Reformation is a sustainable brand. Now, in the sustainable, environmentally friendly world, there is a term called greenwashing, and different brands do get accused of greenwashing certain things. I personally have not done any real digging into Reformation. So the only thing that I'm telling you is what they say on their website, the claims made publicly on their website. I don't actually know right now the details of their environmental status and progress. So I just wanna point that out. Um, they do claim to be sustainable. I'm not claiming that they are sustainable on behalf of the brand. I am just sharing that claim with you. Um, however, I personally, just on a general aesthetic note, really do like Ref's aesthetic. I think that it is very timeless, but very interesting at the same time. They bring more timeless twists and tilts to kind of current trends or current broader themes that we're seeing. And they give you it in pieces that are high quality and will last you a while. So I sort of like that. I do love the shift that I am personally feeling right now to a little bit of a more, um, I guess like Scandinavian-esque wardrobe, just like a really good, classic, clean cut, Meredith Blake, hot girl summer vibe. Um, I do obviously live in like staple pieces. I live in tank tops and denim and trousers and that sort of stuff, but I want to expand with a couple more fun pieces and add a few more items, but yeah, anyways, I digress. So without further ado, let's hop into the haul because this is what you guys are really here for. So um, obviously everything at Reformation is pricier. So it's it's not like, this is not like uh, you're going to Zara or, or something like that. Like this is, this is a, quality over quantity situation. Um, <laughs> anyways, I wear everything in a size two um, from what I got. My dress was a size two and it fit me perfectly. So I've kind of taken that and just run with it for the foreseeable future. We'll kind of see as different pieces um, shape out. I'll get a better idea of kind of what's going on. But um, I obviously understand that as a size like two to four, I am very privileged to be able to find clothing that fits me pretty much across any brand and fits me sort of well. Um, but one good thing about Reformation is they offer both petite and plus sizes. I think they call them like ESS. I'm not exactly sure how they pronounce that, but I do wanna point that out that like they do have those options. As I'm not either petite or plus size by their standards, I don't know how well those lines serve the communities, but I would hope that they would have taken the needs and concerns that those two size ranges had with straight sizes and addressed them, or at least attempted to begin to address those needs. Um, if you do wear either of those lines, you don't have to disclose which one if you don't want to, please let us know kind of how they go and how they work for you because I personally am curious. I do like to see that inclusivity, but I just don't know how that inclusivity works. Like I think about other brands, for instance, like you, know, you guys know my favorite brand, Aritzia. Um, 
they have a larger size range, but the sizing is kind of wonky. So it doesn't really do, it, it doesn't do themselves any, any justice or it does them really more of a disservice to have such a wonky size range um, in that the grading and the quality assurance of the sizes is very weird. So anyways, I hope that this is not bad. So far with straight sizes, I have found that it is very good, very true to size. However, again, I am, I, to be fair, I am fit model size for my size. Um, so I'm not the best person to ask or to do things like about when it comes to like recommendations for how to address those needs. But I do, I do want to say that I make these videos to give you guys a reference point to start off of. So like, for instance, you know that I wear a size two and I am five foot nine and I wear a size 25 denim and I'm a small top. If you know that you are five foot five and an extra small top and wear a 28 denim, then you know, like for me as a small top, if I get a small and I say it's true to size, you can get an extra small. If I say, okay, well I got these and I'm a 25 and I got a two, you're like, you're 28. Okay, so you're you're maybe a four depending on the size chart or a six depending on the size chart. It's stuff like that. Like, I hope I can be a good reference point for that and provide my experiences on if it's true to size, small, large, etc. So I just wanna talk about that because I do get that, I do get sizing questions a lot. Oh, like I'm a this, can I help you? And I'm like, this is exactly what I make these videos for. Like for you to use me as a reference point. But yeah, okay, let's hop into it. So the first thing I got is the Dylan Linen Top. This is $175 Canadian. I got the size, or I got the color white, not the size white, goodness. This is just a really simple linen, um, almost, kerchief top it has that same uh smocked back it's got a zipper the zipper is really good quality just on initial look it's hidden on the inside so it's pretty much invisible on the back 10 out of 10 on that and then it is double lined hopefully the color isn't too sheer and then it just, it's a little bandeau thing. And it kind of like ruches at the sides to give you that illusion of it being like tied. Really like it. The seams, guys, the seams are crisp. Oh, yes. Even the liner, the stitching is really nice. Um, so something I learned when I went to fashion merchandising school in New York City at Parsons the New School um, not to flex, just to tell you my credentials. Um, she said, my teacher always said to turn things inside out and check the, ste the seams. And you'll see if there are any little threads left over, how the stitching is. And so like, this is the liner for instance, which is where they would usually not, like not put in as much effort. It's beautiful really good this is why i think kind of reformation is worth it because just the little things the attention to detail is so good i bet once this is steamed this entire front section is going to lie like almost flat it's got a little bit of a curve to it oh really good really good okay sorry um, but as I have got to say, the quality, really good. $175 for a little top like this is expensive, but it is linen. It is, I believe you are 100% linen, aren't you? Yes, it's 100% linen. And then the lining is um, eco-friendly, 50% eco-vero viscose and 50% cotton. Um, a lining like this, it feels really cottony. It does just feel like popcorn, but sorry, not popcorn, poplin, like linen, uh, poplin cotton. Um, but then the addition of the viscose just makes it a little bit lighter. So do you love that? And then the whole shell is 100% linen. So that is gorgeous. The second thing that I got is the pepper linen two piece. This is $378. 
color white, size two, as always. Okay, so this comes with just a straight across top like this. I'm actually hoping these fit. These seem almost a little bit big, but maybe they'll be fine. This one is nice and thick. It's double lined on both sides with linen. Let's see. Hmm, there's no, yeah, 100% linen, okay. Same sort of hidden zipper. They do this smocked backing quite frequently um, in Reformation clothing, which I really like because it makes it, if you are in between sizes, like very feasible to fit something like you can technically size down a little bit. I'll talk more about this in my FYI before you buy, once I have a better understanding of everything. And then here they have adjustable straps with two holes, but realistically you can get more holes made just going to a tailor or you can even DIY them if you are comfortable with sewing. And that's how you adjust the top. That's cool and that's very convenient. And I also like these buttons because buttons are replaceable and easy to replace. The skirt is a maxi skirt. It's elasticized at the back, which I was concerned about. I'm not gonna lie, I was concerned. And then it has this tie here, which you actually wrap around your waist. And then it's super long. This is also lined. This is definitely lined with that same viscose cotton blend. No, yeah, so same viscose cotton blend. It's got a slit in it. It's super light, it's super airy. The actual skirt itself, the maxi skirt, doesn't have a slit, just the lining does, so that'll make it easier to walk in. And everything is just, the quality is just stunning, guys. I'm really excited for this. All right, and then the final piece that I got is another set, the Sherman Knit Two-Piece Set. This is in the color black. Um, this is a really slinky, jersey sort of cotton material. It's just a little tank top like this and a black jersey maxi skirt with an elasticized waistband. Yeah, it's really good, like not sheer. I believe the skirt feels, I don't know if it's double lined. I don't think it is. Let's just see. No, the skirt is not double lined, but the skirt is, it's soft. This is buttery guys. The um, composition is, 88% tensile lycosel and 12% spandex. I don't know exactly what lycosel is. Let me look it up. Lycosel. So it is a sustainable alternative to cotton or silk. It's a form of rayon and primarily composed of, let's see what this is. It's wood, cellulose and, cellulose, and synthetic substances. You have a 300 to 600 thread count, which is why it's super soft. It's super breathable. It's got high moisture wicking, medium heat retention. I don't want heat retention. Um, prone to pilling. It's medium prone to pill. So definitely with this, be careful what you wear it with and also make sure always to wash it in cold water and hang to dry, low spin um commonly used yeah so that's kind of awesome it's comprised of wood and wood is a renewable resource i will do a little bit more research into this and in my fyi i think i'll come to this with a little bit more information and a little bit more just knowledge and research and some citations and stuff ready for you guys so you know but anyways, let's go pop these on and let's see what they look on. Okay, so this is the black set. I'm gonna shuffle very far back. Okay, so you can see it's not super maxi on me. Um, it's okay, it goes just to the end of my calves almost before my ankles, but 
holy flattering the way this straight across neckline fits the small straps where it hits on my body you know and the fact that i can also i can just skim stress who um not actually it's like it's obvious but you can pull it up if you want you can wear it lower like this if you are feeling the low the low rise trend you can do this not that i would do it my hip dips could never um but yeah you can definitely wear this a couple different ways depending on your body type super flattering i love love the back i love the skinny straps i love how stretchy the straps are you guys know that stretchy straps are my shtick i want to say i think it's said like this is really beautiful and really great if both parts of your body are straight size the same straight size however this is not um necessarily the most inclusive iteration of how to put a set like this together to have the same size for top and bottom for me because i am the same size top and bottom this works but if you're not um there is a lot of stretch there is a lot of give but in something like this you're starting to deal with if you do have like more hips um or like more butt than i do you're starting to run into like the fabric stretching a lot there is a lot of stretch in the fabric but there's a point where is the fabric stretching and it still works versus like is it stretching and going kind of sheer so i do want to point that out i think that like as soon as i put this on i was like if you were a size two on top and a, and a six on the bottom or a, a six on the top because you have a larger bust and a two on the bottom this is not going to work for you unfortunately in the same way i think one size difference you can get away with it size up and then the top has a lot of stretch and it's quite tight so it'll work but the bottoms i don't know there is a good amount of stretch in the waistband so maybe but you also want to be comfortable so anyways just thought of that let me give and it's kind of it's like my, i minus a couple points on that one but on me i really like it it's super flattering like always guys i just use my platform i, I want to talk about good and bad um it's not all sunshine and rainbows i think this is personally really beautiful for me this works really well i just want to talk about something like i want i want to disclose as much as i can think of to help you guys because not everybody has the same body type that i do anyways so this is good it does kind of cling to my hip dips right here a little bit i'm not sure if you can see it in the video but definitely irl i can see that but i've decided that i'm just going to get over it and i have hip dips i've got to just deal with that so that is kind of it on this one it's pretty good i would no the elastic is fine i think i think it's fine as i wear it i will have a better understanding of kind of the pros the cons the good the bad the ugly and let you guys know but so far initial thoughts it's good let's go try on the linen stuff okay so it's a bit overexposed but this is the white um this is what it looks like as you can see just really just so good it's so like crisp and clean this elasticized back is a godsend. It makes this so comfortable. The tie, you can't get around it. The tie is the tie, but I've kind of found that if I tie it a little bit like higher up, more just at the bottom of my rib cage, it's actually very comfortable and I don't mind it. Um, this is it from far away. You can see that the skirt is really long. I would definitely wear this, I don't know, maybe at like sunset, golden hour. I could even wear it like sightseeing potentially, depending on what sort of sightseeing we're doing. With a pair of like sandals would be really cute. Would be really cute. So yeah, this is the one on top. I just like, 
if you come in, you can see like all of this seaming, everything lies flat, the sides lie flat, everything, except for this, this is twisted from my own fault, but that is just like really good quality. You want a top like this, there's no puckering, nothing on the sides, really good. This one, I think you can get away if you are uh, smaller on the top than you are on the bottom, you can definitely get away with fitting your top size. And then, cause there's a lot of elastic back here and a decent amount of fabric. I think you can get away with it, but again, same with the other side, it's not the most accessible, you know? Yes. Okay, let's go try on the last piece. And then we're okay, so I popped this top on with a pair of linen pants for the linen on linen effect. This top fits like a dream. Like, I, I think if you have a larger bust, it's potentially not gonna be the vibe. Um, I'm like a small 32D, 32C, 32C, D, something like that. Um, I don't really wear real bras anymore if I'm being perfectly honest with you, so I don't know. Um, but it's very tight here, like on my chest area. It's very comfortable though, and it's really, it's really secure. Like I feel like so comfortable. Like I feel like I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time adjusting this. It sits really nicely. The ruching on the side does really snatch this in. I don't know. I'm just like, I'm into it. I also think like if you wore, if you were like a low rise person, it would be cute. If you're like a high rise person, it's cute. Overall, I think it's a vibe. I think it wins. But yeah, so that is everything from my Reformation haul. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.